So guys, welcome back to my channel. We are with Wrexham again into third season in League One. Not a prom uh, not the promotion we are getting, but we are hoping for for the championship. We struggled in the middle of the table, and let's check how much we actually got this time around to see if we can actually improve the squad. We've still got 16 million to spend. It's decent, but if we can actually get 10 more million from the owner Ryan Reynolds, the actor that'll be perfect but anyways let's go searching for players so guys i shortlisted some players that i'm gonna sign this season try signing this season i've got one player left midfielder from hoffenheim braun larsen he's danish international and then a striker Sp spanish international Ike bravo looks good playing for by leverkusen and then taylor booth the usa international playing in the area divis and baku the right back currently playing for atletico madrid let's see who we can actually sign so guys all the other players i showed you earlier are unable to move so i'm going for this free agent he he wants to join a club let's offer him at least three years for his contract and guys first signing of the season it is the striker he's got a wrong face here again it's been happening in fifa career mode ever since i got this but anyways he's the player looks fit and he's signed uh, in the summer and it's Vega. he's not even in the team but anyway we've got him he's getting trained and he's checking his medical looks fit guys i think the manager is approving it and he signed for players it's bukari oh he's the he's the guy i signed last season but his face is showing again instead of the other free agent striker lucas cavallini Spanish international free agent let's hope he is excellent rated yes he is let's check his overall market value or oh, overall 72 perfect striker could be oh it's, it's gonna be a competition between Mullin and Buffal his market value is 1.6 million so good signing decent guys guys we managed to pull off another free agent Daniel Amate let's check yeah he is excellent deal again his market value is very important but overall the 76 centre back definitely a big jump in the middle of the defence and his market value 5.5 million so we definitely got a good deal here. And guys fourth signing of the season after Ben Maru because I didn't have a goalkeeper going in the second choice goalkeeper going into the uh, going into this new season third season in league one he is 76 he's not second choice I tell you that I'll have to replace him with Watson his market value is 4.4 million excellent deal and before we even jump into the first game of the season we surely have to change the goalkeeper 76 rated goalkeeper is in and he replaces is Clayworth in the sub bench so this is a decent team going into the new season 76 Mull uh, Buffal and 68 Mullin who was perfect uh, previous season he is going a bit uh, down but anyways uh, new signing Achaba Anas Achaba 64 rated and uh, Marte 76 rated Nagi 68 the I think it was the Serbian international signed last season and a goalkeeper 76 rated we definitely need to still be signing a few players but we can't be doing so anymore this season let's go on to the first game so guys first game of the season is against Plymouth at home at Crown Lane let's go to the kickoff so guys into the first game of the season against Plymouth Argyle in League One third season running we are still in League One but new signings Amarty, Butchan and uh, another striker who's on the bench uh, Cavallini I think he's Spanish international and a 64 rated central attacking midfielder Achar Bar so we've got improved players in Nagi on the left back position and Bukhari he's 72 so decent team should push up for the playoff this season oh Young is he gonna do something with the ball Shoots and keeper saves, but he goes over the line and it is 1 0 to Rexham. Young scores, poor keeping by Plymouth Argyle goalkeeper. He makes the save, he bundles it over the line. 1 0 to Rexham, the first game of the season. Look at that, he takes it wide. I thought he was going to cross it in. Shoots and keeper does well. No defender is there, I think he comes in the way. But 1 0 to Rexham. 
And the final result was 2-0. Mullen added the second just after the half-time whistle. And uh, Buffals missed an opportunity to make it 3-0. 10 minutes for time. And uh, three points for Wrexham in the first game of the season. Great start. Second game of the season is... A, uh, well, not the second game of the season. Another tough game of the season against Wickham Wanderers. Both teams locked on five points. No changes being made by either teams. And we go to Crown Lane for the kickoff. Let's hope Wrexham get another three points. And guys, the players are out to the pitch. What could be a very important three points for Wrexham? They definitely need to be on top of their game. No win since the opening day of the season. And if they want to get the promotion, they have to win today. And chance for Wickham. Are they going to make the breakthrough? Keeper makes a fantastic save. And the defender is there to help him out. Oh, chance to Volks. Oh, poor keeping should be doing better there. The new sun signing. And it is Volks. Puts Wickham Wanderers 1 0 up at Crown Lane. Yeah, look at that. Keeper should be doing better from that sort of range. I think it just slips in the last moment. And Wickham are 1 0 up. Oh, it is 2-0 to Wickham Wanderers and it works again. Scores the second goal of the game in 10, 10 minutes. And it is Wickham who are going for three points today. Wrexham really not at their game. And final result, it is 2-1 to Wickham. Bukhari got one back, but really Wrexham couldn't push on for an equaliser. So three points lost to Wickham. And we are in September, halfway through September. We are currently sitting on 14th position, not too far off 6th position though. Still early days to call anything, but Peterborough leading the league by 3 points. Blackpool, Barnsley on 17 points each. Bottom of the table, Chapman Town, Bolton, Accrington, Stanley and Charlton Athletics. We are playing Charlton, Chapman Town next. Hopefully we can get 3 points. Oh, Chanson's Lloyd! Oh, what a save it is by the goalkeeper. Absolutely fantastic. I thought Charlton and Town have taken the lead at Crown Wayne, but the keeper has other ideas. Corner and the uh, clearance does come back to Charlton and Town. Another chance, Morton on the ball. Oh, what a fantastic save from the goalkeeper again. And it's Bukhari. He passes on to Buffal, shoots and straight in the hands of Ferry. An easy catch. Oh, chance. Chance for. Oh, what a save again. And Mullen on the ball. Oh, good to ball. Chance for. Goal. And oh, great clearance off the line by Chattanooga Town. Their defence is actually really brilliant today. Oh, wrong ball, I think. So Williams on the left hand side. Defender does well. Keeper makes another great save. Now, Mullen. He beats a defender. He does. He does it well. Is he going to shoot? He does. Oh, he scores! Wrexham take the lead here. In very late in the game, 20 minutes to go. And Mullin, they're going to root on football rather than the new signings. Mullin breaks the deadlock at Crown Lane. 1 0 to Wrexham. He does well, though. He goes wide, pulls it back and shoots. Keeper should be doing better than I think curves away from him. And it is 1-0 to Wrexham. Oh, the final result. We have been beaten in May with the late, late winner in the 89th minute. Keener scored an equaliser, the second equaliser, 10 minutes from time. And then May with this final answer to the game. Wrexham beaten at home again. We simulated the matches from September since the defeat to Chattanooga. We lost to Walsall, beaten Northampton 3 1 away from home. And then a cup win over Wimbledon. Another two, another victory against Barnsley. Oxford United, it was a draw and a defeat to Rotherham United. Another crunching game coming up against Peterborough. Let's go to the game and take three points away from them. Oh, guy Mullen is, has been injured and the play have stopped midway through the first half. They have asked for a stretcher and we have to replace him with Cavallini. Muller, Mullen is taken off with a stretcher. 
And Nagy has scored the left back. What a goal and what a run that was from Nagy. The Slovakian international left back scores his first of the season for Exxon. 1 0 it is against. A chance for Nagy again. Defender doing well. That's almost time for half time. Peterborough coming away with it. And it is half time. Wrexham United 1, Peterborough 0. A final result. Young added 5 minutes from time. Young added the second goal. So it is 2 0 to Wrexham in the final result. 3 points to Wrexham. Another huge game in League 1, Wrexham versus Markham. No changes apart from Mullin who's been out for almost a month and he's got a month and a half more to come. And Cavallini gets his first start of the season. Hopefully we get another 3 points and try climbing up for the playoffs and in the championship next season. So guys, another crunching game in League 1 against Markham. And uh, I'm not going to be making any changes apart from the one that uh, Mullin is out for another six weeks. Cavallini comes back in. Let's see what we can do today. Is Young on the ball? Chance for Rexham to make the breakthrough. Is Buff up? Is he going to shoot? He shoots and oh, what a save from the goalkeeper. Oh, oh, they have messed up. The keeper does try coming out. Is a chance for uh, Cavallini? Is he going to score? No, what a save from the goalkeeper. Second chance. Surely, oh, another great save, a great block again, and sh this is definitely the chance of Wrexham could have been one up, and now Buffal, oh, hits the post, he's offside, just about, is he offside, yeah, he's offside, what a chance missed by Cavalini, he does well, beats two men, Bukhari crosses in, and oh yes, finally they have scored. It is Cavallini. He gets his first goal of the season. No, it's not Cavallini. It's the other summer signing, Archibar. And he scores. Central attacking midfield. A great crossing from Bukhari. He crosses in. Keeper should be coming out dealing with it. And then when he makes a save, he just parries into the net. 1 0 to Rexham. They lose the ball again, Markham. And now chance for Bukhari, is he going to make it too? Great save from Badeo. He's Bufa. Goes for a wall, oh, he goes and he deflects it in. I think uh, the defender was blocking the view of the goalkeeper. And Sufyan Bufa makes it to no direction. And just on the stroke of hard time, Bufa slots it in. His chance this time after a couple of great saves from the goalkeeper earlier in the match. Shoots. Oh, it wasn't a deflection, it's just a keeper, poor keeping again. And the full time scoreline is massive 5 0. Young with the third, Palmer gets his goal, and Nagy, the left back, gets his third of the season. Morgan, Morgan absolutely demolished here at Crown Lane today. And guess what, guys, after the victory against Morgan, massive five points victory, and they've given us a five star. Uh, Morale in the team and confidence. We beat Barnsley, Accrington Stanley, sorry, away from home, and then beat Lincoln City, and I think in the FA Cup round one, or maybe round two, Man, Man is it uh, Bristol City in a 2 1 at home away, 3 1 victory away to Charlton, another victory against Walsall, and a massive 3 0 victory at Peterborough. I think the revenge of Peterborough defeat earlier this season has been paid off. Now we play Rotherham United. Be before we do that, let's check the table. And yes, guys, we are just a point behind Wickham Wanderers who are in sixth position blackpool leighton orient are all in sight of wrexham united wrexham afc i'm not quite sure what the full name is i think it's wrexham afc but I keep on calling it wrexham united barnsley leading the table on 53 points three points behind them is peterborough who missed the chance to go top with a defeat to wrexham in the previous match bottom of the table struggling Bolton feel sorry for them they only managed one victory Cheltenham Town with two wins with 11 points there them two are definitely going down Bristol Accrington and Charlton all with the fight to the safety in League One next game is a massive one out against Rotherham no changes and let's see if actually Mullins is back fit to play where is Mullins oh yeah he's not fit to play so I'm not gonna risk him 
I'm not quite sure why this guy is not happy. I think he wants to play in the center attacking position. Let's put him there. Hopefully he's happy. Then he did score in the previous game. Hopefully he scores again. Guys, the players are out and in uh, Wrexham. And here we go. Chance for Wrexham to climb in the top six of the league for the first time this season. Having been 11 points, the maximum they have dropped be behind the sixth position. Chance to beat Rotherham and climb into top six. Only if the results go their way. Three teams in contention with the number six position battle. Wrexham are probably one of the favourites to get promoted in this sort of position. Expert Khan looking on. He's got soulless eyes looking at the players. He just won victory today. Rotherham United. Are they going to be on the wrong side of the result like uh, Markham was in the previous home game? Oh, it's Cavallini. It is free. Is he going to score? What a save. And Bufal taps it in the empty net. What a save from the goalkeeper in the first place. When Bufal is on hand to score. And actually, I'm not quite sure who it was who scored. Yeah, Cavallini missed his chance. And it is Bufal with the goal. 1 0 to Rexham. Defense split open. Oh, what a save. What a save from the goalkeeper. And he keeps it 1-0 midway through the first half, first corner for Rotherham and keep an easy stop there. Oh, chance for Rotherham, they have broken through. Is the keeper going to be the saviour? Yes, it is. What a save from the goalkeeper yet again, keeping his team 1-0 up. Oh, and they have equalised Rotherham, it has been coming. And it is their star man with the ponytail scores for Rotherham past the goalkeeper. Keeper who's been making a couple of saves throughout the game. Just lets one in this time. Too much. Oh, chance for Rotherham. They have broken through. And what a chance missed. Could have been easily 2 1 up there. No chance for the goalkeeper if that was on target. Probably one more chance before the half. It's Cavallini and that should be it. Oh yes, it is half time. Half time at Crown Lane. Is it Court Lane or Crown Lane? One one at anyways. Uh, Wrexham United got the goal through Sufjan Bufal, but an equalizer from A Ives. Ten ten minutes later settles the score one one so far at half time. Chance for Rotherham and the keeper is beaten again. Oh, not concentrating the defenders. And it's 2-1 to Rotherham. They have come from behind and not uh, ready. Against the random play, to be fair, Brexham created most of the chances. But Rotherham, who get the second goal, the all important one, it is Ogil. And 2-1 to Rotherham, Wrexham have to dig deep in order to take three points today and pile pressure on Wickham Wanderers. I think uh, Wrexham are really missing Mullin in the past two months. Although they have had results going their way, but the, uh, the quality of the attack's not been good. And chance for Rotherham, another brilliant save from the goalkeeper. He keeps his team in the game. Oh, 3-1, game over. And uh, what a goal, a climbing header, and uh, Hogel scores his second of the game, and third for Rotherham, 3-1, three, 3 points to Rotherham today, Wrexham not at it to their best, first defeat in 6 games. Final result, it is 3-2 to Rotherham, Nagy got his second, uh, Nag Nagy got the second goal for Wrexham, but too little too late, and Wrexham are beaten again at home this season. And we've got a fantastic FA Cup tie against Barnsley. I'm not going to be playing that. Hopefully we can get the three. Well, the results come our way and we go into the fourth round of the FA Cup. Let's quick send the game. Oh, fantastic. 3-0 it is. We have beaten Barnsley. And fantastic. Another goal from Nagi. He's absolutely improving the game. Buffal and Ford. With the first two goals, 3-0 to Rexham, march on they go to round four.
And guys, we are end of the January. The transfer window is open. Of course, we're not going to be signing any more players because our rule is to sign only four players per season. So we managed to do that in the uh, summer transfer window. But anyway, we, after the Bouncerly win, we drew to Plymouth away from home, beating Shrewsbury at home and then beating Bristol in the Kappa. I think it, that, was, that was the Papa Jones trophy. I'm not quite sure. Now we've got another home game against Walsall. Hopefully, if we can actually beat them, them, we will proceed into the top six let's check the table guys oh we are still eight in the table with only seven with 17 matches remaining we can still do it but uh, 10 points behind Peterborough and a game in hand if we need to keep this pressure up and then we can even win the title we're still in touching distance you can say you're seven points behind them if we beat Walsall today Walsall struggling just above the relegation zone well actually they are kind of away from it five points ahead of Accrington Stanley but anyway let's go to the kickoff and see what we can achieve in this big game against Walsall guys we've got Mullin back for this game he is fit we, we did miss him throughout the last two months but our performance has not been as uh, our performance has not been as good but we've been managed to get in the we managed to get the results we are two points behind Peterborough is it Peterborough Wickham Wanderers yeah sorry two points behind Wickham Wanderers a win against Walsall can close the gap or even overtake them we are 10 points behind Peterborough a win would take us just seven points must win game guys be at your best let's go to the kickoff and chance for Mullins is he gonna score his first goal since the injury oh yes he does calls it in 1-0 to Rexo he is back and he scores again he does what he does best another goal for him another goal for the tally Re Rexham 1 also nil oh what is he doing trying to beat Nagy with pace Nagy is not an easy defender to beat guys you need to beat him with pace and chance again is it Mullen is he goes he goes around the goalkeeper oh what's he doing he took too long and he's a corner it's a Rexham corner comes in oh what's a ball another great ball and Bufa makes it 2-0 to Rexham that is fantastic that is Premier League quality goal by Rexham they are marching themselves on guys watch out they are coming to the premier league but we've got a mountain decline yet we have to make sure we get into the top six win the playoff get into the championship and try to win the championship Bufal makes it 2-0 and the final result it is 3-0 Bufal with another goal to adding to its tally 3-0 three, three points to Wrexham guys you wouldn't believe me if i were to say to you Rexham are in top six and just six points behind barnsley with the game in hand a win today would just close the gap to three points we have to beat wigan wigan are currently two a point behind us so top eight or actually top nine are really close to each other up to rotherham they can all win the title it's a long way to go uh, 14 matches for Wrexham they have got a game in hand let's get three points against Wigan and try closing the gap against uh, Barnsley let me show you how I even got there after the uh, win against Walsall the 3-0 victory I simulated all the matches and we won three out of three we beat um, Bristol City Bristol Rovers in the uh, league and then we beat them in the Papa Jones trophy in the semi-final we beat Macclesfield or is it Mansfield in the league again away from home now we've got a game against Wigan so guys no changes being made against Wigan I'm happy with the team let's go get the three points we want and climb up the table let's go to the kickoff at Crown Lane guys the players are onto the field look at the table Wrexham are six points behind Barnsley with a game in hand three points and we can surely close the gap here and this game is meaning more than anything guys we need to be top of the game keeper keep you cool and you make some great saves today let's go to the kickoff Mullen is back and the results are still going our way Mullen is a fantastic player but we've got a coach that can manage the situation chance again for war oh, Bukhari does well is he gonna score from there shoes and easy catch from the goalkeeper oh Bukhari he is really creating trouble it's Bufal it is 1-0 Wrexham 1 Wigan Athletic 0 Bufal with the goal again 
I wonder if Bofali is gonna get the golden blue end of the season because he's scoring nearly every game for me. 1-0 Sarexa, Wigan left with no answers at the back. Oh, they've lost it. Chance for Wrexham to really seal it off here just before the end of the first half. Is Bukhari, is he gonna score? What's a solo run? He beats the defender and slots it past the beats and goalkeeper. He was beaten before Bukhari even shot past him. Oh, what's a counter attack from Wrexham. They are deadly. I'm not quite sure what really happened to this team. This team was really struggling to get in League One. But then they just flick the switch like this and they are marching on to win the league. They could easily win it. They are currently six points behind uh, behind Barnsley with a game in hand. Of course, they are winning now and that could close the gap to three points. And the final result, it is 2-0, three points to Wrexham. Guys, after simulating the games again, uh, uh, pre after the previous win against Wigan, we simulated this month and run of Paul defeats, three defeats in February and a defeat in the FA Cup and the Papa John's Trophy. We've got a game against Fleetwood Town end of March and all the hype is being shattered. Let's go check the table. We are sixth in the table, still in top six but now 11 points behind peterborough with two game in hand still we are no we actually even if we win the two matches it will be five points behind them and with six games remaining it'll be really tough but we'll try again into the top six for sure i think the league would have been a bonus this season but it's not gonna happen the guys i simulated some more games we are still in the top six and going to the playoffs and 12 points behind Peterborough with two games in hand again. Even if we were to win, we'll be six points behind them. So no point chasing the title. We have to just secure the top six finish and try getting into the championship next season. Bottom of the table, Bolton really out of the league already. They were out of it uh, before the before the Christmas period, really. Chatham Town also going down. Bristol, Rovers and Accrington Stanley. I think they are on the verge of going down too. Let's go to the game against Bolton so guys I'm not gonna be making some well I have to make some changes cover Lini goes off for Mullin Mullin the star man comes in to attack and hopefully gets us a couple of goals today and seal it well actually not seal it we still got five games after this to play oh what's a ball Buffal is he gonna take the keeper on he does Shoots him to the empty net and Buffal gets his goal. Wrexham won, Bolton Wanderers, Wanderers nil. What's a start for Wrexham? Oh, chance for Charles. Oh, should have done better there, Charles. But easy save for the goalkeeper. He parries away for a corner. Buffal. Oh, he beats his defender. Yes, he does. Is the keeper going to come out? No, he's not going to come out. Buffal. Oh, what's a chance miss from Wrexham? Chance for Buffa Mullin. Oh, Bolton do get it cleared. 2 mil up and they gave it away. Dempsey and Williams. Bolton take a point away from Wrexham. And I can't believe it. 2 nil up and they gave it away. We'll have to check the table if that has affected us. They are still in 6th position. 1 point ahead of Wigan Athletic. That's still good. But the board is thumbs down for now. 12 points behind Peterborough. And uh, we are really in danger position we'll have to, to win our matches and hope we can lose that guys with just one game remaining in league one last game of the season we are up against accrington stanley and guess what look at the table we are just tied on 72 points look at that going back to oxford united in 10th position rotherham plymouth leighton orient wigan wrexham all in contention to finish well no Oh, we've got game in hand. That's why Wrexham and Wigan, 72 points. Game in hand, Plymouth with a game in hand. So even if Plymouth win and we lose, we can still go into the... Can we? No, we have to win Wigan. If Wigan beat, Wigan win their match and Oxford win, we go out of the top six. And we don't want to have to do that today. Guys, I'm going to be simulating the last game of the season against Accrington Stanley. Fingers crossed that I get my win less quicks in this match oh it's a 2-2 draw and i'm not quite sure if he actually made it into the top six 
let's go and check the table oh yes guys we are in the playoffs and we're playing Barnsley Plymouth play Portsmouth chance to get into the championship we cannot squander this chance we've been in league one for three seasons in a row chance to climb up the ladder guys we will simulate one of guys we will simulate one of the matches and play the second leg hopefully we win the home game oh we've been beaten 2-0 Oh, not the result I really wanted, but we'll have to dig deep in the second leg to qualify for the final big game away to Barnsley. And uh, we'll have to make some changes and make sure we go through. Mullin comes on and Cavallini on the sub bench. We can really turn it around, but we'll have to be at our best performances. 2-0 defeat away at uh, the home game. How can we actually win the way for the Forest Park Stadium, Barnsley? finished third i think but uh, anyway we'll have to beat them and try going into the next round which is the final of the playoff guys the players are out well, in what could, could be their last game in league one before getting promoted to the championship or well, of course they have to play the final but two nil down from the first leg Wrexham really have to dig deep and take the best out of their performances mullin and pufa need a goal each to take it to extra time. Oh, Bukhari again. He's really ripping it into Barnsley defenders. He's going to shoot. He shoots and it's 1 0. Barnsley have conceded one. And it is Wrexham who get their first goal of this tie. And Bukhari, who's been troubling the goalkeeper from minute one, scores for Wrexham. He pulls it in and the keeper beats him at his near post. Come on, Rexham, no time to celebrate. You need another goal. Mullin. Oh, Buffal. He's got one goalkeeper to beat. Is he going to do it? Buffal scores. And just before the halftime whistle blows, Buffal makes it 2 2. And Barnsley's 2 0. And we go win. Lead is demolished by Rexham. Two quick goals. And look at that solo run by Buffal. I thought he's going to miss it. He might have taken it too wide. But this star man slots it past the goalkeeper and it is 2-2 on aggregate with just 44 minutes on the clock. Barnsley fans livid with their defence, especially the goalkeeper. He passes on to a Yao and he's got a chance, he passes it back. And if Barnsley score from this one, not the goalkeeper. Defender does well and that's it. Oh, game goes into extra time. Mullin with the chance and a great save from the goalkeeper again. We can't really take it to penalty shootout because I've got no good results in penalties. And chance for Mullin! Oh yes! He scores! He scores for Wrexham! And Wrexham have turned it around. It is the Starman Mullin. He scores in extra time. And Wrexham are 1-0 up. Uh, I mean 3-2 up on Agrika. 3-0 here. They just need to defend the lead. And they are into the playoff final against Plymouth or Portsmouth. Sorry, Peterborough or Portsmouth. Big, big clearance from... Oh, Mullin wins it. Oh, fantastic. It's Buffal, sorry. Is he going to seal it? Is he going to seal it? Oh, yes, he does. And Wrexham 4-0 up here. Who could have expected Wrexham to score for Buffal? It was a clearance by my defender. And Buffal, great control. He takes it past two defenders and Wrexham are in the final for sure now. Look at the clear on. They're not showing the clear on for Buffal. Those men, I thought he just misses it. Keep a poor keeper. And the final result, it is 4-1 on aggregate. Fabio Jalo, the troublemaker, scores the consolation. But Wrexham hold on to the win and they are in the final. And guess what, guys? We are in the final against Pompey at Wembley Stadium and a chance to get into the championship. Guys, wake up. We need to make this change. Mullin comes in for Cavallini who scored in the previous game. Mullin scored one, Buffal with two and Bukhari with one in the second leg of the semi-final against Barnsley. But now they need to score again guys. It's all square one again against Portsmouth with two teams. With, uh, no, we can't be wearing blue as well. We need to change the kits. 
Yeah, I'm wearing the famous red for Wrexham. Let's go to the kickoff. Guys, the players are onto the field on what could be a career-defining game for the for Wrexham, you know, Wrexham AFC fans and players. Portsmouth as well. They have been really good in the previous uh, season in League One. They beat some Plymouth to get into the Wembley. And when they have won the FA Cup at Wembley uh, almost 13 years ago, John Otaka with the goal in the semis against Manchester United. But today, guys, this is something different. A chance to get into the championship. Wrexham have to be at their best. Let's go to the kickoff. Oh, this looks, this feels different, guys. Wembley feels different, not like the normal league matches and chance for Portsmouth. Oh, what's a save by Bushan! It was the free agent, I think it was the free, I'm not quite sure. And chance for Wrexham. Oh, that's a ball for Mullin. And his strike partner was on. Defender slips, slid. Mullin again. Buffal. Oh, Young. Is he going to score? The captain. Oh, what a save from the goalkeeper, Uluwiyami. What a save. Oh, Mullin. Is Buffal. Is he going to score? Should score, keeper makes a fantastic save to the rescue, poor pass, and it is Young. He beats his man, shoots into the far corner, and one nil to Wrexham. Portsmouth defense let his goalkeeper down. Oh my word, Uluwiyami made a fantastic save moments earlier, and when Wrexham come back, they have no answers to defense. Young, the captain's goal. What a story this would be, captain sealing the victory over Portsmouth and sending them to the championship. Luke Young scores. Field Wayne, is he going to shoot? He's got chance and keeper with another great save. He goes past the defender, passes across, poof, ah, 2-0, Wrexham are ah, into the championship for sure. Five minutes remaining on the clock, poof, ah, seals it. Oh, trophy number two coming to Wrexham and celebrations all across Wembley. Sea of Red Wrexham t shirt Oh, Mullin does well. He goes wide and thought he's going to cross it in, but low cross into Bufa. And it is 2 0. So that should be it. And it is Wrexham I to the championship. But most importantly, they've got a trophy number two. And they can lift it in front of the fans, all oh, the sub and the benches on the field. Young with Young and Bufa with the goals for Wrexham. And they are into the championship and going into season number five for Wrexham. It's going to be in the next episode. I'm going to cut it up, cut the episode off here, and let's check the celebrations or lift the trophy. I love watching lift. I love watching uh, teams lift trophies in this game. And the captain Young, where is he? Where is Young? Yeah, he's got the captain's armband. Well deserved, Young. He keeps his position in the next season. Uh, I make sure I give him a new contract. Young gets his goal and gets the trophy. Trophy number two for Wrexham. Yeah, they are the winners into the championship next season. And, well, they will be underdogs. But I'm telling you, they've got some players, some team. They are, they are into the championship. So, guys, to cap the season off, we came second. Blackpool winning the league by goal difference. Bottom of the table, relegated down to League 2. Bolton, Charlton Town, Bristol Rovers and Accrington Stanley in the FA Cup. Manchester United beat Crystal Palace 2-0 at Wembley. And we were beaten by Blackburn in round 5. Your Carabao Cup winners, Manchester City beat Arsenal 3-2. And Barnsley won the Papa Jones Trophy, of course we won the playoff beating Portsmouth and PSG beating Man City to UEFA Super Cup. And PSG by the way have won two Champions League back to back last season beating I think it was AC Milan or Barcelona I think it was and this time they beat Bayern Munich in the Europa League Tottenham Hotspur beat AC Milan I can see the happening Tottenham are a really good team they just need to sort their board out I'm an Arsenal fan by the way I'm not a Tottenham fan but I think they really got a good team they just need to well Harry Kane's gonna go I think he wasted his season with Tottenham no trophies at all because of the board poor management in the background but anyways in the UEFA Conference League Club Rouge beats in fire nude 4-3 on 
penalty shootout. So guys, I'm going to cut the season off here, cut the episode off, and we are into the championship for next season. And next season is going to be played out in the next episode, guys. So if you are a Wrexham fan and if you are a football fan, you need to stay tuned. Subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading more FIFA content. And in the comment section, guys, write down what team I should be doing next. I've been asked to do 14 teams. I've got a massive list here, guys. So every subscriber has been telling me to do the teams they want. I've got 14 more teams to do and every team probably takes three four days but anyway thanks for watching guys have a good lovely evening